In this lesson, I will model annotating a PDF using DocHub. You'll begin by selecting DocHub once the PDF is open, and it will give you a clean copy with multiple tools that you can begin annotating with. Remember that in our study of theme and symbolism, we will be reading the text and maybe on your first reading, you may annotate about what is happening in the text, but always go back to see if there are any important inferences that need to be made or thematic elements that may contribute to what we should learn from the, by the end of the text. So I'll begin with the author's name, Saki, and the title, The Interlopers. I will make a note about this word interloper because I know it means something about being somewhere someone shouldn't, or an invader maybe, okay? Always make note of the title and try to make some sort of prediction or clarification because it usually has something to do with what the author wants you to have learned by the end. I'll begin by reading and we will take notes on what is happening and then we'll go back and make inferences and notice how these things are happening. In a forest of mixed growth, somewhere on the eastern spurs of the Carpathians. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to note that that has something to do with the setting. A man stood one winter night watching and listening as though he waited for some beast of the woods to come within the range of his vision and later his rifle. So with that, it sounds like he's hunting. But the game for whose presence he kept so keen an outlook was none that figured in the sportsman calendar as lawful and proper for the chase. So he is hunting, but they just said that it isn't lawful or proper for the chase as though it's something that he shouldn't be hunting, which is interesting. Yulrich von Gradwitz patrolled the dark forest in quest of a human enemy. So he's looking for a person. So as I read this, I've noticed what is happening. And I'm going to keep those things on the left-hand side. So notice they introduced the setting. They introduced our main character, Yulrich, so far. And they've introduced a conflict, which are all plot elements. He is looking for a person, so he obviously has some sort of problem with this person. Now, just from this, I can't determine the theme, obviously. I can determine um, the plot elements so far. But I can begin to imagine that he has some sort of ongoing dispute with another character. And I wonder if we will end up learning either how to deal with a dispute. That could have something to do with the theme, or <laughs> authors do this as well, how not to deal with a dispute. So I look forward to continuing to read and finding out what happens and what we should learn from reading this.